A new Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch just hit the EPTU not too long ago and we're going straight into it. This one, the testing focus remains at stability testing, structural salvage, additional derelict settlements, inventory, openable cargo containers, procedure FPS recoil and FPS weapon balance, player hair, mineable balance and arena commander multi crew. Quite a few known issues once again, not reading them through here. Under feature updates, they have location updates. It says derelict location, lighting and inclusion polish pass. In the gameplay segment, it says structural salvage polish. It says VFX and UI polish pass. Rebalance the reclaimer internal salvage storage buffer to 250 SCU. This was around 150, 130, I think, before, but they bumped it up again. And the vulture to 13 SCU. This was 12 before. Updated salvage log component to make sure fracture salvage can trigger hostility. Move location of joystick hold task salvage keybind options. Before we move forward, I'd like you all to know that the channel goal for the end of this month is 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do it without you guys. If you do watch content from this channel regularly, please do me a favor and subscribe. Let's move on. They made some weapon and item updates. It says updated the bearing FS9 ballistic LMG 2N ammo count of 75. I did notice this in the earlier build, it's now 75, it kind of sucks, but um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> On the core tech, they have front end style updated. It says updated the menu title, text, colors, and logos, updated button styles and button state changes, idle, over, down, disabled, added messaging and UI info for friends, party, notification list, updated secondary title, type, size. And it says example primary residence and current location titles all right so on the bug fixes they have a, quite a few here it says lorville hanger containers rough brown texture has been fixed they also fixed an issue where multiple replacement balls around derelict settlements they also fixed an issue where all elevator panels are non-functional and do not display correctly in hangers and habs areas they also fixed an issue where I failed to find match message prompt when attempting to launch multiple game modes they also fix an issue where cargo within ships will desync from cargo grid on stream out and in they also fix an issue pertaining to spk where airspace turrets do not attack players for trespassing they fix an issue where elevators inner thought transit at crew l5 was not working they fix an issue where reclaimer conveyor belt failed to remember box size in drop down menu they also fix an issue where gyro mode isn't activated by default when accessing remote turrets from ground vehicles. They fix an issue where when the best in show paint is applied to the Redeemer, Origin Manufacturer logo appear in multiple places on ship exteriors. Man, Origin is about to get sued. All right, <laughs> Anvil CAR and C8 headlights are not working and they also fix an issue where the Novakov and Pembroke suit is not given the correct heavy armor damage mitigation. They fix an issue where KLWE energy rifle is missing recoil. They fix an issue where player tanks does not take damage in tank mode. They fix an issue where players do not make damage in certain arena commander FPS modes. They also fix an issue where location markers will disappear early on appearing to jump town in another player has reached the location first. They also have four client crashes, two server crashes, a server deadlock, a backend service crash fix. Also, my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.